All right, it's Adrian, Ian, and this time we're gonna do a quick little, um, kind of like the uh, an interlude Preview, to wrap up sort of discussion about Game of Thrones coming up this weekend. Game of Thrones, uh, great show, G O T. The so, North remembers exactly. The North remembers. Not you too, Ollie. Mm. Uh, oh, dang. Oh, oh, stab Jon Snow oh. like that. That's messed up. John Snow arise! What's gonna happen? <gasps> I'm back. And season six started, right? <laughs> and uh, then a bunch of stuff happened. <laughs> so, uh, this coming up week, we've we've already got to see uh, John and Danny, Daenerys. Uh, interact and there's obviously uh, an attraction there going yes. on yes. Uh, which is kind of weird but you know what the yeah. first episode of Game of Thrones we saw a brother and sister getting it on Dougie's house so I mean yeah but well, they've been getting it all season right all show basically so that's just yeah um, at least Jon Snow and Daenerys don't know no that they, yeah, they don't and then know. There, there, are, there is a little bit of blood separation there for Jon Snow, right? He's Stark yeah. and, you know, Targaryen. Um, yeah, you know, still... Spoiler alert if you didn't figure that out from the Three Eyed Raven scene. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and at this point, you're season seven, you should be caught up. I'm just saying. Yes. You should kind um, of know that they're related. So, episode six also was recently leaked. But I refuse to watch it early. Um, True fan. I can't. Can't just jump up like that. Exactly. So, so we haven't watched it. Yes. Uh, we probably could, but we're not going to. Mm-hmm. So, we're just talking about what we kind of hope and expect from uh, episode six, which looks like mm-hmm. ridiculous. Yes. So, I mean, we have the White Walkers who are inevitably marching Changes. towards the wall. Yes. Um, John's east, wall, east wall, right? It's East Wall. Yes. It's not the actual wall where everyone normally goes. It's the East Wall. Yes. They haven't they're they're about. still on the opposite side. And they're trying to make their way to them. And at the same time, Jon Snow Ooh. has this brilliant idea, thanks to, to uh, Tyrion. Tyrion to my boy, boy Tyrion. That's my boy right there. That's my boy. To capture a White Walker and bring it back. Um, to I prove that they exist. What season was that? Was that season two uh, or three? Wait, Where they, the they hands? trying to bring the hand, yeah, but it's, hands. it's, it's it been uh, it like stops moving. almost like disintegrated. Almost, yeah, right? like it, it just rotted away just by started the time to, we got um, to King's Landing. Yeah, yeah, it just it just started to, to kind of rot away, right? I mean, it's flesh, so yes. it started to rot away. Which kind of brings up an interesting point. If you take a White Walker away from the winter and you put them in the warm lands of the south, will they melt? Uh, the flesh might. I mean, they're still reanimated, so I'm guessing they would still be. Yeah, well, alive. They, well, they, they. I'm guessing they'll they'll degrade eventually over time, right? Yeah. So maybe that's why the the um the the winter night king has night to be king. there around to keep things nice and chilly, right? Night king. So um, kind of like that moment, right, where he was like looking at Jon Snow, and Jon Snow was on the boat, like I can't believe what just happened, and he looked at him. Night king was like. He brought everybody Everybody back. came back. Like, wow. Um, and he was like, you want to do something? I'm right here. Bring it. You want to go, Snow? Let's go. Glow in the dark, son. In the dark. Game stop. <laughs> Where do you get the pops? Yeah. <laughs> so, the other interesting thing is we clearly know that Cersei plans to kind of hear Danny out. On her truce, just because she doesn't want to lose, but she she also is totally plotting some evil ish, right? Well, she's always plotting something evil. It's Cersei, exactly, and apparently she just tells Cersei. It's just her and her brother versus the world. Uh, No one else really matters. Yes, even if they're helping her out, she's like, I don't give a hoot. You're expendable. I don't care if your last name. Well, actually, you can't say your last name is Lannister because Tyrion is dead to her. That's right. That's right. So, So yeah. So there's that. Um, and then we see Danny. Then, yeah, so and then then we clearly Daenerys. are seeing Daenerys like pretty much ruling with an iron fist here, so to speak, getting more um, aggressive. Which some people might may or may not think that she's reverting to some of the madness from the the Mad King, King uh, who's who's her dad. 
Um, Bend the knee. But I don't think it's quite the same. No, I think she's still giving him a choice. Where they even said before the Mad King, there was no choice. They do what they said, still kills him. Where she's like, bend that knee or you die. Right, and like that's pretty much. The I, thing I that like the scene with Varys and, and uh, Tyrion where he's comparing, uh, like when he Dylan didn't the do Mad anything. King. The Mad King is like, yeah. it's not me. I'm, I'm bringing people to him. Yeah. They're dying. I didn't do. But that. I didn't kill them. Yeah, I didn't kill them. I didn't kill them. I didn't so, kill them. Uh, so it, it, there's that moment where he kind of makes him reflect on his his actions and his deci- decisions at that moment, uh, which. Are gonna lead to him trying to talk to her, maybe trying to convince her to go down a different path. Um, but she seems very stern, right? At this time. I think most of the time, all, up until now, she's kind of listened to advisors. Yeah. What should I do? Things down. And at this point, she's like, "I'm a dragon. Be the dragon. Exactly. Be that dragon." And, and I mean, and Jon Snow kind of backed her up too, right? He yeah. was like, he was like, "Lead. Don't just kill everybody, but lead. Like yeah. you're you're a leader. Lead." Right, and just don't go burning everything down. Yeah, but I will say that fight in episode that four, when she came in with the dragon, was amazing, and just I think you had a uh, a tweet go like semi viral. Right? Yeah, I had a tweet that I basically did during Game of Thrones that got basically viral and hundred something thousand uh, views and four hundred something retweets. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying that's what that's what, that's what happened. Completely yeah. unexpected. <laughs> I know. I didn't expect to do it. Just some random tweet uh, during it and just blew not, up. Not to knock Ian uh, or, or or even myself for that matter, but it's not like our our Twitter feeds are yeah. blowing up the second we put a post, right? Yeah. It's it, we maybe get one, two, three likes, views, replies, like that. you know, something like that. But then um, I'm sitting there like, but well, you know, when when someone's phone almost dies. <laughs> From the the sheer amount of notifications you get, <laughs> likes and retweets, I'm sitting there going, "What the heck is going you're, on?" You're wondering, do I have a Note Seven or is this an S Eight? Yes, because I'm like, this thing is blowing up. I'm gonna Shout out to Samsung, this. by the way. Samsung, <laughs> if you want to give us free phones, we'll take them. Review, real. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what else do we want to discuss in this upcoming? Uh, so now episode? they're going across the wall. So, what are you gonna encounter when they go? Uh, Jon Snow and his party of right, and we people. saw we saw in that trailer that there's going to be a, a moment where they're running, obviously, uh, where they're maybe circled around each other, right? Yes. Their backs are against each and other. And then so what makes speak. it even crazy with that group is like mm-hmm. everyone in that group has a reason to kill someone in that group because yes. of something they've done to another one. Exactly. So you got to trust someone that you want to kill, which makes it even kind of crazier. It's hopefully not going to kill you on your way. To kill White Walkers. Or capture one alive from an army of White Walkers. And I, I especially like the scene uh, where Homeboy has a sword that flares up. He's like, da-da. Yes. And it's just like, I saw that in the trailer. I'm waiting for that. That's so, probably going to uh, happen. This, either this episode or next episode, depending on what they end up in I'm going to be really, really uh, interested in seeing if that sword can also kill the White Walkers or not. Well, I mean, it might set them on fire. Fire is known to do damage. Yeah, so we'll we'll see if there is actually another device that they can use to kill the White Walkers it's aside dra- from Dragon Glass. Well, right? Snow Sword is still Dragon Glass. Well, yes, that's well, that's what I mean. So we're gonna see. And there um, is that scene from the trailer that I also oh, thought happened. Do we know if he has a special sword or not? I guess. I think he still has it. Aside it's from it being no, no, no. I'm talking about the guy who has a sword that like. Oh yeah, it might be different because it turns into flame. Exactly. Ah. But I mean, he keeps coming back to life, and he's been killed like multiple times. And the times. Lord of Light clearly is against the the, the White Walkers, Walkers right? so, so we'll see. So we'll there's see. A, there's, a there's, scene. A, there's that whole fire and ice thing. That I saw on the there. trailer that I'm looking forward to, where Jon Snow takes down a White Walker. He stands there in front of an army of them from the trailer. So that might be this episode, or they might wait for the finale. <laughs> Either way, it looks quite amazing. Yeah, yeah. So, so episode six coming up two days away. Two days Can't away. wait. Can't wait at this. Yep, two days away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it's past midnight. Yep. So, yep. Couple so, days uh, we'll leave you with that. See you next time. Make sure you get that Game of Thrones on. Peace. Peace.